Georgia drivers could soon catch a break at the pump. Governor Brian Kemp suspended the gas tax for the next 30 days. Now, the governor says he's doing it to cut costs for drivers, but what will it cost the state? Well, Fox 5, Christopher Kring is alive in Northeast Atlanta tonight speaking with drivers about what this gas tax cut will mean for them. Christopher? and Christine, it could save them about 31 cents a gallon. Now, the average for a gallon of regular here in Metro Atlanta is about 362. Here at this QT, it's closer to about 369. An expert we speak with says that spending the gas tax could help consumers, but he says it could also cost the state hundreds of millions of dollars. It's about $45 to fill up my car. Kendra Cray says she feels the pain at the pump. It hurts a lot. Inflation has cooled down, but prices keep going up. That's a lot. That's definitely a lot. Georgia drivers could soon get a reprieve. Governor Brian Kemp signed an emergency executive order suspending the gas tax through next month. Great idea. Why is that? I mean, it'll make gas a little bit cheaper for us, yeah? A good chunk of that will go to consumers. Danny Canso is with the Georgia Budget and Policy Institute. He estimates suspending the gas tax could save Georgia drivers, but cost the state as much as $180 million a month. It almost certainly will reduce state tax collections by that amount per month. The state could absorb the hit from lost revenue because of a budget surplus. Right now, the state has uh, about $16 billion in cash on hand. The gas tax is reserved exclusively for infrastructure, roads, and transportation. The state can backfill lost gas taxes with money from the surplus. But Canso says that could come at a cost to other programs. And that does mean less money available for things like education, health care, core functions of government that make up most of what the state does. Now, you won't see the savings right away. That's because gas stations paid for the fuel before the governor suspended the gas tax. So it could take some time for prices to come back down. And of course, the gas tax is suspended through October 12th. We're live in Northeast Atlanta. Christopher King, Fox 5 News.